good morning so in this class we are going to discuss about the different types of bidding or methods of bidding from the exam point of view it is very very important see here there are stages and there are number of envelope so we have classification how the classification made single stage single envelope single stage two envelope two stage single envelope two stage two envelope and last one is pre-qualification try to understand see here the project or product complexity is simple here a little bit tough and it is becoming complex and complex like this okay for very complex type of project or tenders pre-qualification two stage qualification like this they are going to do but for very very simple single stage single envelope like this it will go so for first one how how try to understand if there is a standardized goods are there if there is a standardized goods standardized products are there they are generally available from the market so that time owner will call for the tenders will call for the tenders in only in one envelope and only at one time only at first stage the envelope will be called okay so all the detailed document only here price is included okay the very important term is price is main thing why because it is a standardized goods so already technical specification commercial specification everything is there everybody knows because it is a standardized one only for the rate comparison from the different 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 vendors or the suppliers this is called okay so at the first stage or the only stage their tenders will be called and at that time only it will be opened okay for standardization so this is called as single stage single envelope now if the product is somewhat a uh, complex in nature a little bit complex in nature so we require what because it is not a standard one so we need to provide a technical specification also and commercial specification also so commercial means what rates only rate part in separate envelope and for that particular work and for that particular project what is the technical solution what is the technical solution if there is a flooding happening in that area okay if there is a flooding is happening in that area so what type of uh, uh, construction you are going to give i am just giving one example it's called as a technical solution part or technical specification another uh, envelope will be having rates and what is its rate for this type of work so how many envelopes are there two envelopes one contains technical specification and its methodology adopted another will contain only rate part only rate part so two envelope but both are opened both are opened at only one stage only one stage in that stage only all the contractors both envelopes will be compared and contract will be awarded so only one stage but two envelope separate envelopes it's called as a single stage two envelope so for standardized goods no technical specification is required because it is a standardized only one envelope is required that is of rates quoted rates so at the time of that stage only it is going to be open and advantage open and uh, awarded okay in a two stage single envelope try to understand this one okay suppose the project is more complex suppose the project is more complex more complex and owner will call for a meeting owner will call for a meeting okay meeting at this place let us say it is a stage one let us say it is a stage one okay one stage so all the contractors will be coming they are providing their own technical solution but they are going to discuss that technical solution they are not providing any envelope kind of a thing they are just going to discuss that technical solution feasibility everything they are going to discuss and owner will agree on one type of technical solution only only one type of technical feasibility will be approved and in the second stage approved technical specification is there no for that he will call for rates 
for that he will call for rates so in the first stage only discussion will takes place and what type of technical feasibility is uh, provided and all and compare comparison is made and one technical feasibility is adopted and for that technical feasibility in the next stage that is the stage 2 different quoted rates will be called different quoted rates will be called so how many envelopes here in the first stage no envelope but in the second stage envelope for the approved technical feasibility but different rates but different rates is adapted that is why we call it as two stage single envelope two stage single envelope the same thing the same thing it is converted into two stage two envelope means what so in the first stage all the technical feasibility all the methodology adopted for that complex project is asked in one envelope is asked in one envelope okay so that envelope contains only technical specification in the first stage so the comparison is made for whom technical specification is adopted no for them the similar type of technical specification but different rates but different rates will be called but different rates will be called so this is called as a two stage two envelope two stage two envelope in the first stage comparison of all the technical feasibility technical solution is asked from the in the envelope is asked in the uh, envelope later on later on the technical specification along with that rate along with that rate okay so this is called as a two stage two envelope try to understand in one stage all the envelopes will be only contain technical specification but in the second one technical specification plus rates so that is why we have two envelopes okay two envelopes in the previous stage technical specification was approved so for that approved only only one envelope was asking only one envelope was uh, required what do you mean by pre-qualification suppose say in the government pwd work for a particular type of work class one contractor class two contractor like this they have made the clarification now so in that same case what is happening here so this group only eligible for these type of work these contractors are only eligible for these contractors these are not going to do this con this word type of work so this type of uh, selection procedure we generally call it as a pre-qualification pre-qualification means what if you are qualified for those type of works then only your tenders will be called or your tenders will be accepted otherwise you should not quote for those rates okay that is why it's called as a pre-qualification generally um, asian development bank okay world bank so for them project for big projects only pre-qualified candidates are asked okay and how this pre-qualification is required okay generally for every year or every this one the pre-qualifying criteria is published for these type of work generally it is mentioned in their website or in this in those uh, platform pre-qualification criteria are mentioned and all this is distributed to the all the companies generally it is in the newspaper so what other companies or contracting firms will do they will take the document they will study in those documents what is generally mentioned is how much is the experience you have in this type of work how much is the work you have already completed how many works you have already done okay whether do you have technical capability whether your uh, person has suitable knowledge okay whether you have financial assistance how much is your work in hand okay whether you have uh, tax paid completely or not so every detailed related to the qualification criteria is given once the contractors once the contractors fill all those things and submit the client will check whether these are qualified persons for the next coming works whether these are persons qualified for next one okay everything is compared and they will publish the list okay these are the pre-qualified contracting firms they will tell like this okay these are the pre-qualified contracting terms so everything is mentioned so once the contractor is pre-qualified for those type of work then only those things are there disadvantage means what if the if he is not having an experience but he has a sufficient technical capacity 
but he has a technical capacity then pre qualification act as one disadvantage why your company just now started but you have all the technical person you have all the technical equipments technology everything you have but you just don't have the correct years of experience that time what will happen client will lose a good contractor what is happening here because of a shortage of experience here irrespective of your knowledge and capacity you are losing that project or you are not going to be pre qualified this is the problem with that one so in those cases what they will do they will make a partnership or alliance so your company and another company who has experience who has experience both one side experience will be there another side technical knowledge will be there so you are going to do what one joint venture or partnership so those partnership will act as one separate company and again those are going to be get pre qualified those are going to be get pre qualified so this is the advantage of having a joint venture or partnership still if you don't have the experience you can do the <coughs> project by merging with the other one making joint venture so like that you can do so this is the methods of bidding single stage single envelope for standardized goods a little bit complex where single stage two envelope one envelope technical specification another envelope only price in two stage single envelope in the first stage only technical feasibility is finalized finalized in the first stage no envelopes are received in the second stage for that approved technical feasibility solution rates are going to be uh, called so approved technology plus rate in one envelope so that is why two stage one envelope two stage two envelope means what all the technical feasibility is compared in first envelopes okay first thing in the second stage approved technical feasibility or some different type of technical feasible solutions plus their rates so two envelopes pre qualification only if you have sufficient manpower machinery technology experience and if you are qualified the conditions then only you are allowed to put your rates this is called as a pre qualification pre qualification is very important in government project or international projects international project okay <coughs> so this is the pre qualification uh, done from the government uh, government agency class 1 class 2 so maximum work how they have done okay minimum solvency amount okay what is the registration fee to get a class 2 contractor license annual turnover like be should be this one estimated work in hand 1 crore okay so like this emd how much up to what amount they can go for this one so like this they have done the pre qualification pre qualification so generally in the pre qualification what are the things to be compared experience personal capabilities equipment capability and their financial positions okay so like this litigation history means what whether they have done half of the project and run away or not so like that if there is any court case is there then these are called as <coughs> uh, litigation okay okay generally how they are going to call for pre qualification letter for invitation information about the pre qualification procedure they are going to publish and also along with that they are going to give project information of for which they are going to pre qualify or not okay and the application for pre qualification 